In the world of entertainment, the actress left an indelible mark. Born on July 26, 99, in Cherryvale, Kansas, she began her journey in the film industry in the 1940s. Her breakthrough role came in 1951 when she was cast as Ethel Mertz in the popular sitcom I Love Lucy. Her portrayal of Ethel Mertz, the quirky landlady and sidekick to Lucille Ball's character, won her the hearts of millions of viewers. The actress's comedic timing and impeccable delivery brought laughter to living rooms across the country. After I Love Lucy, the actress continued to grace the small screen with her presence, appearing in numerous television shows and movies. She received critical acclaim for her role in the Broadway production of The Time of the Cuckoo and was nominated for a Tony Award. Throughout her career, the actress was known for her versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles. From comedic to dramatic, she excelled in every part she played. Despite facing personal challenges, including struggles with alcoholism and depression, the actress remained a resilient and determined force in the industry. She continued to work until her passing on August 17, 1979, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. In the end, the actress's contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered and cherished. Her talent, dedication, and unforgettable performances have left an enduring mark on the industry and will continue to resonate for generations to come. Vivian Vance was an accomplished actress, best known for her role as Ethel Mertz in the classic sitcom I Love Lucy. Born on July 26, 1999, in Cherville, Kansas, she began her career on Broadway before transitioning to film and television. Perhaps you have a personal story about how the actress has inspired or impacted your life. Maybe you watched I Love Lucy reruns with your family and laughed along with Ethel's antics. Or perhaps you admire the actress's talent and determination as she paved the way for women in entertainment. Whatever your connection to the actress, we would love to hear your stories and memories. Share your most cherished experience related to this classic star in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will delve into some surprising and fascinating facts about the actress. From her early years on Broadway to her iconic role in I Love Lucy, we will explore the many facets of this talented woman's life and career. So stay tuned to learn more about the actress who brought laughter and joy to millions of viewers around the world. And don't forget to share your stories and memories with us in the comments below. Born on July 26, 99 in Cherville, Kansas, the actress was raised in a family that valued entertainment. Her grandmother, who lived with them, often shared stories from her travels as an actress in a traveling theater company. These narratives sparked the young girl's interest in performing arts. The actress's father, a lawyer and amateur musician, encouraged her to explore various forms of entertainment. He introduced her to vaudeville shows and operettas, further fueling her passion for the stage. However, it was her mother, a former teacher, who enrolled her in dance and drama classes, providing the foundation for her future career. During her high school years, the actress participated in school plays and local theater productions. After graduation, she moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where she continued her studies at the Albuquerque Conservatory of Music and Drama. It was here that she met her first mentor, H.H. Dad Stewart, the director of the conservatory. He recognized her talent and offered her leading roles in the conservatory's productions. Stewart's guidance and encouragement led the actress to pursue a professional career in the theater. She moved to New York City in the late 1920s, where she struggled to find work during the Great Depression. However, she persevered, performing in summer stock companies and small theaters. Her big break came in 1933 when she was cast in the Broadway production of The Party's Over. Throughout her career, the actress remained grateful for the early influences and mentors who had supported and guided her. She often credited her grandmother, father, and steward for instilling in her a love for the performing arts and providing her with the tools necessary to succeed in a competitive industry. Vivian Vance, an accomplished actress, was born on July 26, 1999 in Cherville, Kansas. She gained significant recognition for her role as Ethel Mertz in the popular TV show I Love Lucy, which aired from 1951 to 1957. Vance's portrayal of Ethel, Lucy's best friend and landlord, was both hilarious and endearing, making her a beloved figure in American television history. Before her successful career in television, Vance worked extensively in theater and radio. 
She made her Broadway debut in 1933 and appeared in several productions throughout the 1930s and 1940s. During this time, she also worked as a singer and dancer in nightclubs. In the 1940s, Vance transitioned to radio, where she starred in various comedy and drama programs. Her experience in radio helped her hone her comedic timing and acting skills, which later proved invaluable in her role in I Love Lucy. Vance's work in I Love Lucy earned her five Emmy nominations and one win for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. After I Love Lucy, she continued to act in television, film, and theater, appearing in shows like The Lucy Show and Here's Lucy. Throughout her career, Vance's talent and dedication to her craft left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She passed away on August 17, 1979, but her legacy continues to live on through her work and the many lives she touched. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the stage. She would put on performances for her family, singing and dancing with great enthusiasm. Her mother, noticing her passion, enrolled her in local theater productions. It was there that the actress discovered her love for acting. She reveled in the excitement of bringing a character to life and the connection she felt with the audience. A pivotal experience for the actress came when she was in her early 20s. She had been performing in small plays and was struggling to make ends meet. One day, she received a call from a director who had seen her in a production and was impressed by her talent. He offered her a role in a new show he was working on. The actress was overjoyed and threw herself into the role. The show was a hit and the actress quickly became a household name. She continued to work in film and television, always bringing her unique blend of humor and heart to every performance. Her passion for acting never waned and she continued to inspire and entertain audiences until the end of her career. After winning an Emmy for her performance as Ethel Mertz in I Love Lucy, the actress received top billing in the show's sequel, The Lucy Show. However, the weekly commutes between Connecticut and Los Angeles put a strain on her marriage, leading her to retire from regular appearances in 1965. She requested a 500,000 advance, more creative and directorial control, and a raise in weekly pay to convince Lucille Ball not to persuade her out of retirement. Despite leaving the show, she continued to make guest appearances with Lucy in future projects. In Lucy and Ethel by the same dress episode, Lucy and the actress sing Cole Porter's friendship together. Lucille Ball had previously performed this song with Red Skelton, and Gene Kelly in the movie Dewberry was a lady. This musical number highlights the strong bond between the two characters, Ethel and Lucy, and the actress's ability to showcase her singing talents. The actress, born Vivian Vance in 99, faced significant challenges on her path to stardom. Raised in a modest family, she experienced financial struggles early on. However, she was determined to pursue her passion for acting. To make ends meet, she worked as a singer and a model, seizing every opportunity to perform. In the entertainment industry, the actress encountered skepticism due to her unconventional looks. She didn't fit the mold of the typical leading lady, which made it difficult for her to find roles. Yet, she refused to let this hold her back. Instead, she used it as motivation to hone her craft and prove her worth. The actress found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles. She began performing in regional theater productions, showcasing her talent and versatility. This led to her breakthrough role in the film The Voice of the Turtle in 1947. Despite initial doubts, the actress's performance was praised by critics and audiences alike. She continued to face challenges in the industry, but her resilience and determination carried her through. In 1953, she was cast as Ethel Mertz in the iconic television show I Love Lucy. The actress's portrayal of Ethel was a hit, and she became a household name. Throughout her career, the actress faced adversity but never let it deter her. She continued to work in film, television, and theater, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her story serves as a reminder that success is possible, even in the face of obstacles and skepticism. After her successful run as Ethel Mertz in the Lucy Dacey Comedy Hour, the actress and William Frawley were offered a spin-off series. However, the actress declined the offer due to her strained relationship with Frawley and her belief that the Mertzes wouldn't work as leads without the Lucy character. In 1959, the actress divorced Philip Ober, who was accused of spousal abuse. As a result, 
she had to give up half of her 160,000 in community property, which included her ranch in Cubero, New Mexico, and her home in California. Later, the actress played Vivian Bagley in The Lucy Show. Despite Lucy's tough reputation, the actress got along well with her, unlike with William Frawley. Lucy reportedly favored and doted on Gail Gordon while she was close with Frawley. However, Frawley despised the actress. In 1951, the actress achieved a significant breakthrough when she was cast as Ethel Mertz in the classic sitcom I Love Lucy. This role not only brought her widespread recognition, but also allowed her to showcase her comedic talents. Co-star and real-life best friend Lucille Ball once said, Vive was the funniest woman I ever knew. She made every scene better. Critics also praised the actress for her impeccable timing and relatable portrayal of Ethel. Prior to I Love Lucy, the actress had already made a name for herself on Broadway, appearing in shows like Voice of the Turtle and The Time of the Cuckoo. However, it was her work in I Love Lucy that truly catapulted her to stardom. The show's innovative use of three-camera filming and live audiences set a new standard for sitcoms and solidified the actress's place in television history. After I Love Lucy, the actress continued to work in film and television, earning praise for her performances in The Ugly Dat Shun and Here's Lucy. She also returned to her roots on Broadway, appearing in productions like Mr. President and First Impressions. Throughout her career, the actress proved herself to be a versatile and talented performer, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. In 1977, the actress received the ultimate recognition for her contributions to television when she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. At the ceremony, she humbly stated, I've had a wonderful career and I'm grateful for every opportunity I've had. To this day, the actress's legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. In the hit series, I Love Lucy, the actress played Ethel Mertz, but in reality, she and her on-screen husband, William Frawley, deeply disliked each other. The only reason they continued to work together was the cash bonus they received for each additional CBS contract they signed. Later, in The Lucy Show, the actress took on the role of Vivian Bagley. During filming, Lucy faced two near-death experiences. In one episode, she started choking on a grape during filming and almost died. In another, she got stuck while filming a shower flooding sequence and struggled to breathe until the actress noticed and pulled her head above water. Despite rumors of a contract requiring her to stay 10 pounds heavier than Lucille Ball, no such legal binding contract existed. It was actually a gag gift given to the actress by Ball, sparking the legend that it was real. The actress's talent and dedication to her craft shone through in every role she played, making her a beloved figure in the world of television. The actress, known for her work in the film, had a unique approach to her craft she once said, I'm not a method actress, but I do try to get inside a character's skin and understand what makes them tick. This introspective method allowed her to create nuanced and believable characters that resonated with audiences. In the show, the actress played a character vastly different from herself, a testament to her versatility. She once stated, I'm nothing like the character I play on the show, but I've grown to love and understand her. This ability to empathize with and portray characters so different from herself set her apart from her peers. The actress's personal experiences and worldview often found their way into her work. Having grown up during the Great Depression, she brought a sense of resilience and determination to her roles. She once shared, I think my upbringing has influenced my work in ways I don't even realize. It's given me a deep appreciation for hard work and perseverance. Her unique blend of introspection, versatility, and personal experience made the actress's style and approach to her work truly unique. She once reflected, I've always tried to approach my work with honesty and integrity. I hope that comes across in my performances. And it certainly did. The actress who played Ethel Mertz on I Love Lucy, Vivian Vance, famously recounted a story about her contract stating she had to weigh 10 pounds more than Lucille Ball. While the two remain good friends, it remains unclear if this was a truthful contract stipulation or just a running joke between them. They were often seen laughing about it in talk shows and interviews. Vance's work extended beyond I Love Lucy, and she received recognition for her contributions to mental health awareness. The state of Connecticut Department of Mental Health honored her for her advocacy on behalf of the mentally ill.
In addition to her acting career, Vance was a generous individual who believed in giving back to her community. She donated her Emmy Awards to the Little Theater in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where she began her acting journey. This gesture highlights her commitment to supporting local arts and theater programs. The actress Vivian Vance is best known for her role as Ethel Mertz in the classic sitcom I Love Lucy. Her portrayal of Ethel, Lucy's best friend and neighbor, was marked by impeccable comedic timing and a knack for physical comedy. Vance's contribution to the show was invaluable as she and co-star Lucille Ball formed one of the most iconic comedy duos in television history. According to industry experts, Vance's influence on comedy can still be felt today. Vivian Vance was a trailblazer for women in comedy, says television historian Robert Thompson. Her physical comedy and willingness to be the straight man to Lucille Ball's antics were groundbreaking and paved the way for future generations of female comedians. Vance's impact on the industry extended beyond I Love Lucy. She went on to star in several other successful television shows and films, including The Lucy Show and The Jimmy Stewart Show. Her ability to play a wide range of characters, from the comedic to the dramatic, showcased her versatility as an actress. Those who were inspired by Vance's work speak highly of her talent and influence. Vivian Vance was a true inspiration to me, says actress and comedian Carol Burnett. Her comedic timing and ability to create a memorable character were unparalleled. I feel fortunate to have been able to follow in her footsteps. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Vance was also an advocate for women's rights and mental health awareness. She used her platform to speak out about these issues and to encourage others to do the same. In conclusion, Vivian Vance's contribution to the entertainment industry and her influence on comedy, storytelling, and character development is still felt today. Her ability to play a wide range of characters and her advocacy for important social issues made her a true trailblazer and an inspiration for future generations of actors and actresses. In the popular show I Love Lucy, the character Ethel Mertz, played by the actress, shared many similarities with her real-life counterpart. Both the actress and Ethel hailed from Albuquerque, New Mexico, where they kick-started their showbiz careers at the Albuquerque Little Theater. The writers cleverly mirrored the actors' lives while crafting the characters' backstories. For instance, Lucy Ricardo, like Lucio Ball, was born in West Jamestown, New York, and attended Sellerin High School before moving to Manhattan as a young woman. Similarly, Ricky Ricardo, like Daisy Arnaz, was from Cuba and led his own Latin American band. Ricky and Lucy, much like Daisy and Lucy, eloped to Connecticut to get married. In contrast, Fred Mertz, played by William Frawley, was a Midwesterner who grew up on a farm and enjoyed a successful stint as one of the earlier vaudeville actors, reflecting Frawley's own background. Later in her career, in the 1970s, the actress discovered commercials as a lucrative way to capitalize on her fame. She secured a three-year, 250,000 contract, becoming known as Maxine in the Maxwell House commercials. Interestingly, her I Love Lucy co-star, William Frawley, had a unique deal for early television. His contract called for residuals from I Love Lucy for years after the series ended production in 1957. Unfortunately, the actress did not have a similar clause in her contract. The actress, Vivian Vance, was known for her portrayal of Ethel Mertz in the popular TV show, I Love Lucy, but her life extended beyond the camera. She was born on July 26, 99, in Cherville, Kansas, and her love for performing started at a young age. Vance's passion for the arts led her to pursue a career in acting, but her interest went beyond the stage and screen. An avid reader and enjoyed literature, which often influenced her work. Her love for reading helped her bring depth and nuance to her characters, making them more relatable and authentic. The actress was also known for her philanthropic efforts. She was passionate about supporting various causes, including animal welfare and children's education. Vance often used her platform to raise awareness and funds for these issues, demonstrating her commitment to making a positive impact on the world. One of the actress's most notable philanthropic efforts was her work with the American Heart Association. After suffering a heart attack in 1977, Vance became an advocate for heart health and worked tirelessly to raise awareness about the importance of heart disease prevention. In addition to her charitable work, Vance's personal values also informed her professional life. 
She was a strong advocate for women's rights and equality, which was reflected in her character Ethel Mertz. Vance's portrayal of Ethel challenged traditional gender roles and showcased a strong, independent woman who was not afraid to speak her mind. Overall, Vivian Vance's life and work were deeply intertwined. Her personal values, interests, and passions informed her acting, and she used her platform to make a positive impact on the world. Her legacy continues to inspire and resonate with audiences today. In 1938, producer Vinton Friedley offered the actress a musical role in Leave It To Me, which included a playful striptease to the song My Heart Belongs To Daddy. However, she declined, fearing typecasting. Mary Martin ended up with the part, achieving great success. The actress made her mark in television history as Ethel Mertz and I Love Lucy. On August 11, 2009, the U.S. Postal Service issued a commemorative stamp featuring Lucille Ball and the actress from the iconic episode Job Switching. The stamp series honored other early TV shows, including The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, Dragnet, and The Honeymooners. In 1954, the actress became the first person to win an Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actress, marking a significant milestone in her career. Her role as Ethel Mertz remains memorable, and her contributions to early television continue to be celebrated. The actress Vivian Vance left an indelible mark on the film industry. She became a household name for her role in the popular show I Love Lucy, where she showcased her comedic timing and acting skills. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring professionals in the field. Vance's advice for those looking to make it in the industry is to stay true to oneself and never give up. She once said, you have to believe in yourself and you have to be willing to take chances. She emphasized the importance of hard work and perseverance, noting that success doesn't come easy. The actress also believed in the power of collaboration and the importance of working well with others. She once stated, the most important thing in life is to learn how to give out and take in how to have intercourse with the world. This advice highlights the value of building relationships and working together to create something special. In terms of her future contributions, Vance would likely encourage aspiring professionals to push the boundaries of their craft and explore new mediums. She was always eager to take on new roles and challenge herself, and she would likely encourage others to do the same. In conclusion, Vivian Vance's legacy within the film industry is one of hard work, dedication, and a commitment to excellence. Her advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to oneself, collaborate with others, and never give up. By following in her footsteps, future generations of actors and actresses can continue to make a lasting impact on the industry and the world. As many of you know, the actress Vivian Vance had a remarkable career in film and television. She became a household name for her role in the popular show I Love Lucy, where she showcased her comedic timing and acting skills. But did you know that she also had a successful career on Broadway? Born on July 26, 99, in Cherville, Kansas, Vance started her career in the theater before transitioning to film and television. She starred in several Broadway productions, including The Voice of the Turtle and Happy Birthday, for which she won a Tony Award in 1951. And I Love Lucy, Vance played Ethel Mertz, the landlord and best friend of Lucille Ball's character, Lucy Ricardo. Her portrayal of Ethel was both hilarious and relatable, and she quickly became a fan favorite. Vance's chemistry with Ball was undeniable, and their friendship extended off-screen as well. Despite her success in I Love Lucy, Vance continued to act in other film and television roles. She starred in the show The Lucy Show and appeared in several movies, including The Great Imposter and The Ugly Dachshund. Vance's work has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and humor has inspired generations of actors. Her legacy continues to live on through her work and the memories she created for audiences around the world. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Vivian Vance's work and legacy? Share your comments below and let us know your favorite Vance roles. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family. Let's celebrate the creative spirit shaping entertainment.